What? Hello! Thanks for coming back to the channel! We're back in Silent Hill 3 and we, uh, we're in the hospital last time we left it. I hate hospitals in this game. I really do. But who's Stanley Coleman? It was, uh, it was uh, rooms 7 and 12 I believe we were looking at and we left it on a little cliffhanger. So now we're going to find out who Stanley Coleman is and who's Leonard? I don't know who Leonard is. Leonard is the other guy who's in the other room and apparently we're going to go see Leonard so... Room number seven, Stanley? This is the fruitcake who's been leaving us messages everywhere. Oh, not another bloody message. The doll torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. I'd imagine it's uh, Stanley. Right, what depraved message has he left here? Now, is he dismembered a doll? Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, it would have been able to meet you, and then just a little while, I could have taken you into my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather my goddess, Heather my lover, Heather my... Okay. Well, this place has been turned inside out. Is that anything down here? No, just literally nothing. I was so anticipating something being outside just then. Right. Well, let's, what's in Leonard's room? That's number 12, isn't it? We left these on purpose, didn't we? And of course, the bloody phone rings. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Go away. Get in the bin. Hello? Claudia? No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. What? Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. I recognize that voice. What a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia? My name is Heather. <laughs> Heather. Who are you? I've said too much. Leonard Wolf. Oh, there's Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Yeah, Leonard. Claudia is your daughter? So you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, she's no, trying to get me fucking never. killed. When I find her, I'm... Oh, I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I... I I'm sorry. Killed my father. True that. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her. If she changed her ways. She ain't gonna change her ways, Leonard. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. 
He turns out it's like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> I have a seal. Yes, it does tricks involving juggling a ball. <laughs> right. End of the second floor. End of the hall on the second no. floor. What she said. Very well. Is there anything else to rob in here? The end of the hall on the second floor. Uh, hmm. Okay then. Looks like we're going down the floor. The thing was, something significant has happened, which means something could have changed, which means something could just jump out at me at any bloody point. But we're just going to assume not. Yeah? That's what, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to assume everything is fine. I, I haven't actually been up to the roof yet, have I? Actually, you know what? What was that? Closes! Shit. Uh, gun, gun, gun. I need a gun. Because I don't want to get too close to these bloody things. Feck! Ow! Why are you so fast? This isn't good. This is not good. I've just run into a corner, haven't I? I mean, this is not exactly a John Wick simulator. It's very close quarters, this. Oh, shit. I got stuck running into him. Ow! What the fuck, man? The shit out of you. I think I need a health drink as well because I took quite a few hits there. There we go. Back to blue. Control pad was rumbling. Uh, oh, what's here? Submachine. Of course, I've got a submachine gun, haven't I? I forgot I had that. For goodness sake, why do I use a pistol to fight something when I have a submachine gun? Is that anything? No. Oh. Well. This looks like it's about to go other world, doesn't it? Oh, I'm going this way then, yeah? Like a rattling maze. I don't have a map of this area. Something's gonna jump out at me. I just, I just know it. I just know something's gonna jump out at me. I can feel it. I, I'm also running in a big, bloody circle. Well, I can't go that way. So let's go. Door. It... Um. I have no idea where I'm going. I am so lost. Well, I'm not going that way, am I? This is doing my nut. Does this open? No. Then we have to go this way, then. Don't like this perspective. D Ooh. This is from the first Silent Hill, isn't it? This is that VHS that um, Harry finds.
because we're really in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly towards me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. Yeah, she started hemorrhaging from her face, from what I remember. And that now has opened up this path forwards here. Up. Uh, uh, what the hell? Is that thing winding the... Well, that was just an awful ladder. Well, shit's got fucked up. Quit. I can't see anything. But there is something here. What the? Either this is where one... I am not hanging around in this room. Oh, one of these things. Which is open. Okay, that mirror creeped me out. Am I meant to do something with the mirror? Was there something... A reflection that I'm supposed to be looking at? Hold on. Wait, I appear to be bleeding. Um, I'm leaving this room. Wait, what? what? Why is everything bleeding? Uh, hello? Um... Everything is got... But Wait, look, I've stopped moving there. That was fucked up. I don't want to go in that room ever again. Do I dare go into the... Oh, no, I can't go in the old special treatment rooms because that's all closed off. Stairwell is there. It's unlocked. I can go into... Everything's bleeding a lot. I know it's a hospital and all, but does the rooms have to bleed? Um, There is a hand. The hand outside the window. Okay, I don't like that hand. Goodbye. I don't like this. Is everything so dark? Okay, let's go towards the um the stairs, shall we? Let's get out of this goddamn hospital. Why is the perspective weird? Oh, the stairwell was the stairs that I came up. I understand now. So we are taking the elevator down. Okay. Ringing. Right. Yeah. What? Uh, Why would the lockers be ringing? That's not a normal thing. was not obvious at all. Hello, locker room. Why would there be a public telephone in the locker room? That don't make enough sense.
What? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forget your name. Who are you? Oh. Why does he sound like Office 6 from Demon Slayer? Okay, this has gone full blown demon slayer now, and I have a sword. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not. Mistaken. Question is that? Be this in. The one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy I'd have hung up by now. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. <laughs> and that's what that's the thing you think is wrong? Oh, you little shit. Get off me. It's slicey time. You little shit. What? It just got up. It's been kicked a numerous times and slashed with a katana. Answer the question. I give out the pain. Asshole. We have a, a meat locker. What is that? Uh, suffice to say, I don't like it. Well, we're in the women's locker room. Is there anything in here? A plastic bag and a health drink. Um, am I supposed to... More pitiful it seems, like a child in there, no chance to escape. Am I supposed to use the plastic bag to kill it? I mean, that's kind of twisted. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just... Ah, I'll turn the light off. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that, yeah? That happy birthday song has weirded me out. Okay, do not, do not like. So I can't go any further in this bit here, but I... Oh! Which... Um, there's a bucket. There's a dead body hanging from the... I like the way the first thing I noticed was the bucket. Hang on. I picked up that plastic back. Surely not. Surely not. Oh god. Oh dear, oh dear. Well that's just utterly gross. Um yeah, uh I'm 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 going to leave this room because that is manging. Where on earth do I go next though? Let's see. Cause everything there looks pretty Oh wait. <laughs> I've got a whole basement I haven't been in yet. I'm always doing that. I look, I look at all the rooms and go, nope, nope, can't go there, can't go there. And there's a whole floor I just completely glossed over. I bet that's where I've got to go first. But anyway, I'm glad I got my bag of blood. What's in the basement? Uh, I'm guessing it's basement one. No? Basement two? Basement three? 
basement three. I was going to say, was there a basement jacks? Ah, I, there appears to be... No. Wait, they said he was number seven. Number five. There's number four. There's number eight. Number seven. Is this Stanley? I'm oh, sorry, can I hear something? I'm not going to go out there and say, I don't like this room. I mean, it's a morgue. I mean, there's nothing nice about a flipping morgue, is there? It's weird that you started the murders at zero. Do not know numbers? Uh, oh. I've got a cremated key. Lovely! Uh, I'm just going to leave this room here, because this is... I, I, I'm not liking this. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a key for a room on the second floor, I want to say. Let's go to the second floor. I'm pretty sure it was like the day room there was it was a locked door rather than a broken lock. Let's find out. Let us... No, no, it wasn't. It was the... Um... It was the first floor. See, look. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm always doing that. I was going to the wrong floor. I should do that. I swear I do that in Blue and John Lewis. You get and you press all the buttons and go, I don't know what floor I'm getting on. They're all confusing. They all smell of acetone. Right. So, we need... Is it through those doors? No, it's down to the right. I use the cremated key. There we go, then. Um, this looks like a kill box. Hello, sir? Sir? Oh, look. There's that nurse I battered beforehand. Okay. We appear to have... Where am I? Oh, I'm in this corridor. Okay, well, let's just take care of these freaking things first. Right, now I can explore this absolutely heathen corridor. Nurses! Frame advantage! Oh my god, there's loads of them! This is... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the perspective here. It's like a 90s music video. Ow! Do you mind? Oh, achievement unlocked. Uh, okay. Was that kill X amount of nurses or something? Well, there better be something bloody good in here. A health drink. She's looking at something. What's she looking at? What about this... What? Oh, there's a note. Something on the ground. Is it a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday! 4 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. But that's not my birthday. 4, 7, 17... Is that code to something? I wonder. But furthermore, I don't like this room. <coughs> um...
Any doors on the... No, there's not. Okay, there appears to be a shrine. There's lost memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of ritual sacrifice. Here we go. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, and praise to show loyalty unto God. Another sacrificial rite mentioned in the book, the victim is burned alive. This is a more dignified ceremony, in which prisoners and sinners are not only to participate, only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to the burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious religions practice nearby. It may have connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Well, that's uh, messed up. So, I'm guessing there's no other, all the other doors will be locked, but I'm just going to quickly check. That nothing elicits any kind of response from. No, nope, it. Look, it's, it's, it's circled that thing there. So, there is. That shrine is obviously something. There's a stretcher here. Not a usual stretcher, this is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles and knife in is that blood I smell. Do they worship that picture or is something in that picture? What what is the picture? Those candles did not smell blood, yeah. Surely not mm. Mm. So I've here's my offering. Uh, um, hmm. Are we summoning Leonard? Are we? Oh, there's some stairs down. I see. Hang on. That, that wasn't there before. So the blood just... Ugh. Where are we going, eh? Where are we going? We got another unnecessary descent. We're back in some sewers. Well, that's hygienic. I think we found Leonard. Yeah? Leonard? Where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. What was that? Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. God! Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. What? It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the Not keys another fanatic. to paradise. Don't you think so, Heather? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? Uh, I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. You are heathen! I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceive me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about it. I'm not getting in this religious debate I at all. You were a normal person. So you tried to trick me. So you can run off with my seal, huh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! <sighs> I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone! What is this seal thing anyway? Oh, don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine. 
I was appointed by God to be its guardian. Didn't he just call Claudia a nutter and then the continue to be a nutter? Thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. What? Oh my God! Leonard, is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God! This has gone a bit Jericho. Is every person here a mental case? How long is she so stoic? Can I just attack him with a katana now, please? Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. Um, okay, I appear to be hitting him when he's on the floor. Okay, this appears to be working. I'm literally just button bashing here. Just Hold up. Did I just batter Leonard by just hammering the katana? That's hilarious. And that is officially a total eclipse of Leonard. <laughs> uh, I'm hilarious. I'm, I'm totally, uh, I'm totally claiming that joke. That is the pun. That will be the name of this of this episode. Leonard's not here anymore. I Leonard guess was I never. Head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Yeah, that was um odd. Let's go back. Wait, huh? is that the seal? Is that this? The seal evolving to What's Dugo? This? <laughs> I've got a, a talisman. Love a talisman. Has hospital gone normal again? Are we no longer in other world? Are we no longer there with walls bleeding and all that jazz? Hold on. Oh, it has got normal. I've just stood there with my torch off like an absolute twit. Right, well, I guess we're going to um, leave now. I must admit, that Leonard boss fight was pretty funny. I wasn't actually expecting to basically just absolutely, absolutely samurai show down him that efficiently. But I think we can now officially leave said hospital. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... But surely it's a good thing. It means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. Um... You'll go to hell, Vincent. Can I mention, if Claudius killed Heather's father, Heather's just killed Claudius' father. Everlasting paradise. Interesting. And you think God is going to save you? Huh. What do you know anyway? This is a very, uh, theistic debate now. I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. Okay, Vincent. You hated your father, didn't you? There's some daddy issues here which I are coming through. The way he hit you. Kicked you and made you cry. What sort of father does that to their daughter? His cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. No, nope. and that's why Claudia is fucked up. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. Uh, I'm sure you're going to show us, aren't you, Claudia? Well, 
Well, that was a uh, messed up. Well, let's get back to the um, back to Jack's Inn, shall we? Oh wait, we can go to Heaven's Night, can we? <gasps> we can go to Heaven's Night. Cool. Yay! This is where we're in Silent Hill. Do beef jerky. I still don't know what beef jerky is. Beef jerky lure in this game of some description. I don't care. We're we're in the pole dancing club. We are in the pole dancing club. Woo! Can you interact? Can Heather interact with it? No, she can't. I'm just being. Uh, hello. It's a tourism pamphlet. I've forgotten, it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill! Silent Hill! The quiet lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Thanks, Rog. I mean, I don't know if this coming into Heaven's Night is purely an Easter egg or not, but... Well, I've got some shotgun shells out of it, so... No complaints there. 106. And it's Vincent. Oh, good. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Did he know? Was there someone else here just now? No, no. Just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Shoot him in the leg. Yeah? What did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. So it looks like we're going to a church on the other side of the lake then next. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you'd better go through the amusement park. Oh, I'm going to go through the amusement park. The only way in. Oh. So we've got amusement park and a church. On Nathan it's a bit far. Closer than heaven. <laughs> this guy's fruitcake. I don't know. Is like that him. it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? No, I don't. Can I go back and Northwestern Nathan Avenue. Wait, right. well, we're going. Well, I was actually looking to possibly save the game, but nope, it's not going to let me do that. I'm going to uh, keep going until we get a save point then. Because the amusement park will be the next episode. So, where is the amusement park? It's, uh, well, it's by that big arrow. Yeah. Pretty much how the game began, wasn't it? The amusement park. This is literally how it began in Heather's Dream. So great. And now she has a stomach bug. That's like me if I eat dairy. It's making me feel ill. This is exactly like how the game began. This is exactly the same. And I can't remember what I did. <laughs> how do I get in? Oh yeah, there was a door, wasn't there? That's what I missed last time. Close up! Oh, I dodged that. Asshole.
Yeah, I don't like these things. Uh, my pad's vibrating. Have I taken damage? Yes, I have. Now, I seem to recall... Ah. Oh, shit, there's another one. Run. How funny how normally I just run away from all these things, but now I'm just like John Wick. Lock is broken. Oh yeah, then they've got the uh, tat shot. Now I seem to remember there being supplies in here. A bunch of toys. Another Robbie the Rabbit. What was that? I heard that. And here's our save point, finally. We are now in the Lakeside Amusement Park, and that is exactly where we're going to pick up the next episode of this series. So, guys, that was uh, the end of the Brookhaven Alternate Hospital. We took care of Leonard. He was a nutter. We come across Stanley. Haven't actually met him yet, but he sounds like a nutter. Vincent's talked to Claudia. They're all nutters. It's just Nutterville. But we're in Lakeside Amusement Park, so we're going to basically traverse the amusement park and hopefully get to the church the other side of the lake for the next episode. But guys, I'm going to leave this here and say, if you have come this far, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like. Perhaps subscribe to the channel if you're new. So I hope you are enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying it. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this game. It's really good to come back to it. I've forgotten all of this so much. So it's just, it's good to come back and start playing a brand new game for me. So yeah, I'm like I said, I'm really having fun with this. I hope you are too. And hopefully I will see you in a couple of weeks. But until then, thanks again for watching. Stay safe and I will see you next time. Take care.